Hello and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, I'm just sitting down uh, working out a design for a small uh, wine cabinet. Um, someone needs a cabinet uh, next to the uh, window in the kitchen. Uh, needs an extra cabinet made um, and they want to have some wine racks. I built a, uh, another cabinet for this uh, customer um, on the other side of the uh, window uh, two years ago and they want to add this cabinet on the other side of the window uh, to fill in an empty space. Okay, it's just going to be a very simple uh, frameless cabinet. Uh, 11 and 3 quarters deep, 11 wide and 30 high. Uh, just uh, birch plywood. Uh, going to make some edge banding for the uh, front. And uh, came up with this design of just some very simple holes. Uh, drilled in here. That was the only way I could work it out. Um, I was first uh, thinking about a diamond pattern, but it didn't work out. The uh, openings were uh, too small, so I came up with this. I looked at some pictures of uh, wine racks, and this was the uh, best idea I could come up with. And actually, this uh, this way I can get actually more bottles in this way. Yeah, diamond pattern. I can only get about 12 bottles, and this I can get about 14. First, uh, just start by uh, ripping some uh, pieces of uh, three-quarter uh, plywood. And what I'm going to do first is uh, edge band the edges of the plywood. And then I'll uh, cut them to length and width after I do the edge banding. For the holes, uh, they need to be about uh, three and a quarter to three and a half inches in diameter. And I do not have a uh, hole saw for that, so I'll have to get a hole saw to do that. Alright, I'll let the edge banding uh, dry, and now it's just a uh, little bit uh, proud of the uh, surface. Now I'm just going to take a belt sander and um, just uh, sand this down flush with the uh, plywood. And we got just a couple quick passes. Uh, I want to be careful not to uh, go into the uh, plywood. Uh, you can burn right through the uh, veneer if you're not careful. I got the uh, panels uh, sanded. Now I'm going to uh, cut them to length. Uh, the cabinet is 11 inches wide. And I'm just going to do a simple butt joint on the sides here. So the uh, top and bottoms will be 9 and a half. That's 11 minus inch and a half. And the sides will be ripped to 11 and 3 quarters. Now I have to cut a, a small rabbit in the back uh, to accept the back panel. Now I'm going to assemble the cabinet, uh, first just uh, pinning it together with uh, some nails. And then uh, driving some finished screws. And then uh, check it for square. Okay, I've got my uh, inner panel, which is going to be MDF in the back. And the outer panel. Uh, I used a solid maple for this. Um, we're going to be drilling those uh, holes in it, and uh, plywood would uh, chip out on the uh, edges, so I think the uh, solid maple will work better. And of course this is going to be painted on the inside. Now I'm ready to do my uh, layout of the holes, and I've cut a couple patterns of the holes, and it'll be three and a half inches in diameter. Always uh, work out the spacing. Yeah, full scale layout ahead of time. Um, first I started with uh, three and a quarter inch holes. 
So I decided to uh, increase it to three and a half. Uh, I think the uh, be better for the uh, wine bottles. Uh, they're about. I have a chart here. Um, they go up to uh, three and a half. Uh, three and three eighths. So I decided to increase it to three and a half. So now what I'm going to do is uh, on this uh, board, I'm going to do the same layout again and get the spacing all the way across and up and down. And then uh, we'll go to the drill press, uh, get the hole saw set up. I uh, went out and got a, a hole saw. I did not have one of these, so this one this big. So we're going to see how that works on the drill press. There's my layout. Got all the holes laid out. I ended up being four inches on center. And came in an inch off the edge. And got about just about equal spacing here. And I ended up going uh, down to a three and a quarter inch, uh, back to the three and a quarter inch. I had to go exchange that. The three and a half didn't work out. I was just too big. Didn't have enough uh, space in between here. All right, I've got my uh, board in the cabinet. Uh, just doing a uh, dry fit. Just to see what it looks like. And now I'm gonna step back and just see what it looks like. And it all looks good. Now the next step is to go to the drill press and uh, start drilling those holes. What I'm going to do is take the uh, MDF board and I'm going to take the maple board and screw it to the MDF. I'm going to drill pilot holes in the center of each one. And then we're going to drill those uh, holes all the way got through. got the uh, drill press set up now. Um, I've got a uh, support on this end. Just the uh, panel's uh, hanging off the edge here. Now what we're going to do first is uh, drill a pilot hole with a 3 16 inch brad point bit before I go to the hole saw. So I have something the hole saw has a uh, pilot hole to uh, follow. All right, we've got a, a slight change of plans. Uh, this did not work out in the uh, drill press. Uh, this uh, head uh, doesn't fit on very uh, tightly. It kind of wobbles a little bit. The threads don't uh, thread on tightly enough. So I didn't like the way it worked in the drill press, and I didn't like the way a right angle drill worked either. So I'm going to do a straight on drill with a handle. And I did a practice piece, and it seemed to work. So let's get that a try. Gonna go right into our pilot hole. Okay, the teeth are clogging up. Clean the teeth out. All right, I grabbed my uh, wire brush and it seems to clean the teeth out. Let's try this again. Okay, we're through the MDF. There we go. Okay, we're into the maple. Um, I'm not going to drill all the way through right now. I'll drill through the uh, MDF first. And I've got the uh, pilot hole going through the uh, maple. And we'll come back and uh, drill the maple second.
All right, now I'm ready to uh, put the uh, two panels in. Uh, this is the inner panel. This will go in the back, and it's going to be spaced off of the back uh, three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to install some uh, spacers. And then slide this in and screw it in place. Okay, I'm going to put a little glue on these uh, spacers. And just go right in there. And it's going to tack them in place. I'm going to slide the panel in. And here's the front panel. I finished sanding. I got the uh, holes uh, sanded. And do the finished sanding on the outside. Now what I want to do is uh, just set this in flush. It's going to sit flush with the outside. And what I'm going to do is uh, put a little rabbit around the edge to give a little reveal. That reveal is just made with the uh, saw blade. Uh, stick it up about an eighth of an inch above the table. And have the uh, blade just touching the fence. Now I'm going to set the panel back in place. Now we've got that nice decorative groove or reveal. Next step is to make some small mounting blocks. Um, I'm just going to be in the inside corners here. I want to uh, screw the panel from the front side. There's some decorative screws. All right, they're just little one inch square pieces of uh, plywood. And I'm just going to put a little glue on them. And I'm going to space it in with another piece. So it's three quarters of an inch in from the edge. And I'm going to put a clamp on it. All right, I got the cabinet all done. I just have to do a final sanding and staining. And then once again, the inside is going to be painted black. So that kind of disappears. And this front cover is removable. Uh, you can take this off uh, to hang the cabinet. They're going to have to put screws in and then put the cover back on. Uh, these uh, black screws will just kind of disappear. It's going to be a dark stain. 